I'm going to show you guys how to make a deep ocean water village. So the normal way of water building, you can see this here. The pier was built with the normal water-based technique that you've seen in my other videos. But once we get this deep, we can't build any further with the typical water-based tech. So instead, we use a new type of uh, building technique that I figured out in order to build actual houses in the super deep water. That water is extremely deep. Let me show you just how deep this water is. It is this deep, okay? You cannot build in that normally with the normal water-based tech. So instead, you're gonna have to use some of the tech that I'll show you in this video. But anyway, this place is super cool. Multi-level buildings, we have zip lines connecting the whole thing, uh, rope bridges everywhere. It's a whole little village out on the deep ocean. So if you're going to build on the ocean, you're gonna wanna find a good spot. Now I'm at this spot right here. This is probably the, one of the best, if not the best spots to build on the ocean. Ideally though, if you're actually a casual player building on it, you'll wanna build more in the bay because the water's shallow enough that the bulk of it you can build with the basic water building techniques. But I'm gonna show you how to build in deeper waters in this video. So the first thing that you're gonna do is start with a standard water base. So you're gonna go out here and find out how far can you go till you start swimming. So we're gonna go and go and go, and it looks like it's pretty far. So right around here somewhere. So I can mark this a lot of different ways. In this case, I'm gonna come back from on my feet. I'm gonna take a stick, I'm gonna stick a stick in the ground, and I know somewhere a little bit past that is when I will start swimming. And I'm doing that so I don't throw logs away. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start building a water base like you normally would. So we're gonna go out here. If you don't know how to build water bases, there's links in the description of this video about it, but, or you can just go like figure it out based off this. So let's go ahead and start building a water base. I'm going to angle it like this. Everything's going to be angled off this angle. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to have to build an angle like that, an angle like that. Then we got to go get more logs, and then we got to pick up the end. So that's going to look something like this. You only want one log in your hand, just in case it throws the log away, which it won't do very much at this depth. And then you'll just keep on going. And ideally, you'll just do both sides at the same time, but you know, you're going to keep going like this. Still pretty shallow. Maybe I can get away with just having two in my hands. Yeah, because at the transition going into water, it actually doesn't go like at an exact point. So we're now far enough away that it just threw the log away. So now what I'm going to do in order to fix this uh, is I can pick this up and then set it back down. And now I need to go grab another log. And if you didn't have one here, I mean, just go grab one and put it there. But then once you've done that, pick one, put it down on that angle, then you can go ahead and do this. And I just threw a log away. But either way, oh, I didn't throw a log away. But there we go. Now it put it down and I can go ahead and keep building. We're gonna keep doing that until we've gone as far as we can go, as deep as we can go. Okay, so at this point, we've definitely gone as deep as we can possibly go, but we probably don't actually wanna build that deep with standard water basing. Uh, so if you're gonna build like a big pier out here, you might wanna do it at a place that's a little more reasonable. So maybe at this height and then just build out a big platform. But that's not the end of things because we're actually gonna build houses way deeper out in that water. We're gonna build all sorts of structures. But before I do that, I'm going to plop down a big pier for us to stand on first. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get to the extreme advanced things that you probably came here for. So this is basic water-based building. This is like nothing compared to the next thing we're going to do. So what you're going to do is go to the edge of this pier. You're going to make a lean-to at first. So ideally a lean-to. I'm going to cancel this actually. We're going to pick up these logs because they're probably going to get in the way. So we need to um, get this one and we need to get that one and get them out of here for now. Um, so we're going to throw those down. And now what we need to do is we need to go to the end of this and we're going to make a lean-to. Now the reason we're doing a lean-to is it has the biggest base to it. It has a three by one. So we're going to turn it sideways by looking over here seeing where it's at. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to get it as close as we can to where we're at. Now we can't even like see it until it turns red right there when the waves are going over it. So we're just going to go until it gives us a check mark as close as possible. Um, or we could even go further with it, but we're going to go like kind of close. I'm going to move it out a little bit and see if we can build on it. Now, if we can't build on it from where we're standing, what we can do is we can put one of those logs back down maybe. Actually, I don't know if we can't, it might get in the way. We'll have to keep finagling with this until we can build from the shore. So if we do that, we can walk down here. And now, while standing, let's see if it works, while crouching, I can actually try to build on this now. So all I gotta do now is bring logs and build this lean-to. All right, so the lean is done, so now I'm gonna go swim over to it, stand on it, and what we need to do now, because you have to finish it before you can actually build off of this. So we're going to pull all the planks up. And I don't know, we put them somewhere. I'm just going to throw them over here. If I need them, I don't know. I'll try to go get them. But we're just going to pull all these planks off. All right, so now that we've torn off all the planks, it leaves us with this unlevel place to build on. So we're going to take half logs and smack half logs down there so that we can level this thing out. So actually, I forgot something. We've got to put one plank back on each one of these. 
um, just to tamp them down so that we can build on the corner. Some of the corners, it wants to lift them up. All right, and there's the final one. We can tear these planks off that I put back on. And now we have a level building surface. I'm going to go throw down the full-size logs to, and then put down some floor on this. All right, so now that we have this, I also built out that uh, pier a little bit. Uh, we can go ahead and add logs to the corners in order to bring this thing up off the water so we can actually not be standing in water. And I can tell you right now, it would have been nice if I had lined that up a little bit better because that is gonna end up being hideous in the long run. But you know what, this is just a guide for you guys, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, so this house is coming along rather nicely. Um, getting back up here is gonna be an issue though. I'll also figure something, I have an idea what to do. But uh, what we're gonna do is like a little notch off of the pier so that we can make a rope bridge come in right here. And this is how we're gonna get into this house. You know, I was about to build this and then I looked up and from this angle, I realized it'd actually probably be way cooler for me to just connect it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I did not mean to drop the logs. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this since it's gonna look a little weird. I don't wanna have to deal with it later. So we'll take this off and then we're gonna go ahead and do it from there. So now I'm gonna have to go get another log. All right, so to get back up, I am just going to stick one of these right here and do one of this and then jump across. Okay, I'm gonna do it like that. We don't ha we can actually swim while holding the rope, but it's whatever. All right, so we're gonna go to this and we're going to attach both the ropes to here. And now we're going to start planking it out, building all the planks for this. And then we'll have a rope bridge, bridge connecting our first deep ocean house. Well, that turned out pretty good. I think it looks good. So now let me go ahead and put the finishing touches on that house so it actually looks like a house. And let's take a look at this thing. I'm not going to lie, that seemed like it was going to look a lot better in my head than how it actually came out. But hey, there's our first house. So let's, let's try to make another one now. All right, so let's get back under here by doing a swivel jump and then come over into here. Now, I don't think it's a good idea visually for me to just put a bunch of houses in a big grid pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this tech that takes a lot of, a lot of effort. So we're going to make a lookout tower as close as we can here. And then we hopefully will be able to build on it from here, which it looks like we can. So we're gonna have to bring logs here and build the lookout tower until it's high enough that we can jump on it. Okay, so now it's high enough that I can jump on it. I could just finish building it, but I don't feel like using the resources. So we're gonna go over here now. I'm gonna pick up this one that I left behind like that. All right, let's 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 hope I can get this a second time. There we go. All right, so now what we can do uh, is we can do another lookout tower and we can try to place it as close to this as possible. And hopefully we can get it close enough that we can build on it. If we can't get it close enough, we can just get down into the water to try to bring it closer to us. So let's see if this is close enough now for me to build. And it looks like it is. So I could now build another partial lookout tower to get further out. All right, so this other one, I decided to just go ahead and build it. It seems like enough distance for it to be fun. Uh, I probably could have lined it up a little bit better, but it's close enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a house, and I'm going to add a rope bridge to connect this house to the other house. I right, got this one all set up. I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this off. Luckily, I don't have to fall, worry about falling in the water with the rope, though. It's not too big of a deal. Oh, jeez. Okay. I get it. All right, stick it on. Stick it on. Now I just got to bring some uh, logs and build this bridge. All right, so the bridge is complete. And so now is as good as time of any as, as any for me to uh, delete this. I'm going to throw all my logs into the water, which is a shame. But it is the only way to accomplish that. So now I'm going to see about building another one of these uh, out in this direction somewhere, maybe out further. I'm going to see how close I can get this. And this is where I may have to jump into the water to get it close enough. But this might be close enough. We'll see here. I'm probably going to have to build the entire thing. But let's see. Yeah, I can go ahead. I can reach it from here. So I'm just going to have to bring logs and build another lookout tower. All right, so we got another one built. So we're going to go from here. We're going to see if we go out further what happens here. So we're going to go out, say... Okay, so that one actually didn't work because of the way this work this system works. I couldn't actually build on that. So instead, I'm going to have to t turn it sideways and try to get it closer to me like this. I'm, probably, I'm just going to jump in the water. So we're going to have to jump in the water. I'm going to show you what I meant about jumping in the water. So it's hard to see it in the water, but we're going to try to um, put one down somewhere over here that's close to the other one. It'll go red when we get near it. And we'll go with like right... But right there. That probably is buildable. Now, if you need back in, now you have an actual built lookout tower. You can swim under and find the door. Swim through the door, grab the rope, and then climb up, which is now very convenient for getting out of the water at this point compared to swimming all the way back. So let's see if this one works. This one does, so now I can build this one out. All right, the job is done. So now I've built this one. We're way out here. Let's build one more at an angle now, and that will be the one that we'll connect in. So this one, we're gonna rotate something. I wanna connect it to that one, but I also wanna build one more of the three by one over there where it's more shallow. 
And I want both of them to connect into this. All right, so this one's done, and I realized I made a terrible mistake in that these ones, I actually finished them. When you're doing it, if you don't want these ones, you should not actually finish them. Uh, because if you finish them, you can only pull things up one piece at a time, which is really awful if you want to destroy them and very wasteful on resources. And like, I don't, it's just bad. It's bad, guys. All right, the deed is done. So now I'm going to connect this rope bridge. I make a rope bridge between this one and that house. And then we're going to build one more three by one to connect this. So we're going to go like this. In order to do this now, uh, this is a lot easier because we can just swim over and get up on here where I built a little pier so I could just swim out of here like this. Oh, I didn't put a log here. Of course, I didn't put a log here. I'm going to have to grab a log. I'm going to run a rope down right here and do a similar thing as what's at the bottom right there up at the top so I can more easily get up there. All right, that's much better. So now let's connect the left one to that house. Not like that. Connect the left one to that house, and then we'll make the right one go to the house that isn't built yet. Well, unfortunately, this one didn't work like how I thought it would, so I think I'm going to have to redesign this house a little bit and add a second floor to it for this rope bridge to work. All right, with this built, it looks like I can, in fact, attach one here, so we still got to start from that one. But let's go ahead and make this rope bridge finally. So we have an issue that's a non-issue. So I was going to have to climb up this rope, which would make me put the rope away, I think. But instead, it actually lets me latch it on from over, like through the wall. All right, so that works. Now it's got to build out this bridge. And the bridge is done. It's not the most beautiful bridge ever, but this game was not designed for angled rope bridges at all. Uh, so now we have a rope bridge going to our awesome third tower. So that just leaves me with one last job, which is to add a fourth one somewhere down there. Ideally, a three by one like that. And maybe at a different angle. I think the quickest, the most cost-effective way for me to do this is to build out a single line pier like this. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it over there because of how it goes with the rope bridge. So I'm going to have to build one out all the way from back here, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We'll go from here. It'll still save us time over the lookout towers. Okay, so I did every trick in the book in order to get this thing to go out as far as possible. The last one's hanging from was, was hanging from a strut originally to get it this far out. So now what we need to do in order to make this as quick and easy as possible, since the water is still pretty shallow... We can make a lean-to. I'm just going to look here where I can still see it. We're going to make it long ways, and then we're going to put resources on from the side. And then that will let us get over there. So we're going to go here until as soon as the check mark appears to so get as close as possible. And then we're going to add resources to it, build it up real fast so that we can uh, get a little bit further. Okay, since we're not actually going to be building on this one, we don't need to finish it. We just need this so we can walk out here. Now we can go out here, and we can attempt to build what we actually want to build which is going to be another lean-to. And we're going to look in the air to rotate it, and we're trying to figure out where we want it. So I'm thinking I want it maybe like right back here, and then we'll try to put it as close to this as we can, I guess. So like that, and then see if we crouch. Yes, we can. We can, we can build this too. I'm going to build it out. All right, the lean-to is done, and now you guys know the drill. We got to go over here. We got to tear up all the planks except for one plank on each piece of roof so that we can increase the height of the base and level it out. All right, from here, you know the drill. We just got to go down here. I got to place these half logs down in the bottom. All right, now those half logs are down. We just got to put uh, normal size logs across all of it to make a flat foundation. All right, now that's done. We go ahead and put the actual floor down. Okay, so now I have a flat foundation for to build on, and I'm going to build this thing up some and get it out of the water. You know, I was building this up, and I realized something I didn't do on the other one. I can build struts, and that'll make this look really cool. All right, let's see if it works. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, my God. This is way harder than I thought to grab that. All right, there we go. Get this one. That one. We'll just set them down, like, right here for now. Grab this one and that one. Look at that beauty. Oh my goodness. I should have done that on the other one. Pull that one out and pull that one out. Now this is so much more open. This is going to look so much better. Ah, crap. I just realized I got to put all those struts back in so I can build cross beams so that I can support this and actually have a rope. Uh, you'll see what I mean. All right, that's much better. I have the cross beams before removing these because the way the building system works, if I don't put those cross beams but I remove the struts, then I can't put the cross beams. If I put the cross beams first, I can remove the struts afterwards, and they'll just be there, which is what we're going to need in order to make a rope system that I'm going to do, which I'll show you in a sec. All right, so now you can see I'm talking on the bottom floor. There's a rope that you can take to get to the middle floor. Then on the opposite side, there's a rope that you can take to get to the next floor. That way, you don't have to have one rope go the whole way because it doesn't really work out very well. So we're just going to do it like that, and now I'm going to finish building this house. All right, so for this one, I'm going for a more square, open look. It's just got a flat roof. We'll see how that turned out. All right, so I cleaned that up. I had to do a crazy amount of stuff because some dumb way I built it before. But let's go ahead and do it. I got it all cleaned up. Let's put that down. Jump, break our legs. Oh, I missed breaking my legs. Okay, we're going to come over here and 
Uh, okay. That's one way to die. All right, so I had to reload my game thanks to that bug, and let's do it again. So we're gonna climb up this pier, jump over up to here, and now we're gonna attach our bridge. And now we're gonna start adding planks to it and get this rope bridge built. All right, we got the rope bridge built. Now we just need to build the other one. We had to build that one first so that we could connect these ones because there was no accessible way to get to each other from these two without this bridge right here. Attach it like that. And then run over here. We can just jump around this and then come over. I can get over here and connect this bridge and make another rope bridge. Well, I don't really know what the hell happened on this one, but it actually looks kind of cool. All right, so we got that one. We got that one. We got all the rope bridges. We got all our, our ocean houses connected. Um, there's one more thing I'm thinking about doing, though. All right, so I built this rope that takes me to the third floor where I built this wall on the back. So that way, just for funsies, I can connect all of this base with zipline. Now we could, in theory, go anywhere in here with zipline just for the hell of it. So let's see if this one works. That one does work. Let's see if this one works. That's not the one I wanted, but that kind of works. Honestly, I could improve it, but I'm done for now. I've, I've been building for ages, so let's call on that one, and let's see if this one works. This one should just work great. Yeah, this one just works. This is the best one out of all three. So now they're all connected with Zipline to this central Zipline location. All right, that is looking very good. Let's take a look at this from the side. Uh, look at that majestic, beautiful ocean house base, this ocean village. This place is amazing, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This took an enormous amount of time. And uh, if this video helped you, definitely check out the description for other helpful Sons of the Forest videos. I have tons of things, advanced building guides, and all sorts of different tips and tricks and tons of cool stuff. How to make ocean bridges, how to do all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, so definitely check that out. And also, if you want to support me, just check out Art Gallery Simulator on Steam. It's a game that I'm making. Just go there and wishlist it. There's a link for that in the description of this video. Uh, if you wishlist it, it would help me out a lot. But that's it for this one, guys. Now you know how to build an ocean village in Sons of the Forest. It's amazing, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this one. This thing was amazing. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. Now you know how to make an ocean village in Sons of the Forest.